I look out today and I see all the faces of everybody who made a great effort to be here today to wish Miranda and Brandon a happy life. And I think about that. I think about wishes. And I think about effort. And I'd like to express my wish for you too. My name is Randy, and I am Miranda's older and funnier cousin. I actually was the first Tucker to meet Brandon right at the start of their relationship, and I liked him immediately. He was warm and enthusiastic, gentle and funny, and there was this soft familiarity he had with Miranda, and I could tell three things as I watched them interact. One, he was absolutely smitten. Two, smitten was too casual a word for how he looked at her. And three, it was very clearly mutual. As he came home, he said, I met a girl. A couple weeks go by, he says, where are you going? Going to Dallas. Comes back. Where are you going? Going to Dallas. A couple more weeks. Where are you going? Going to Dallas. And so he goes, you know what? I need to move down there. I need to be with her. You got a job? No. <laughs> you got a place to live? No. You got any money? No. <laughs> um, now how are you going to get this girl? I'm just got to go. I'm picking up the pain. I write to you with a sense of pride, love, and value. Pride in the fact that you chose me to stand with me and to walk beside me on this journey we are about to embark together. I take pride in having the privilege to call you my wife. You have the biggest heart I know. You love so fierce. It is one of the many reasons I love you. You mean everything to me. The first time I saw you, I knew you were different than anyone else I had ever met. This might sound cliche, but there was this moment when our eyes met, lingering for only a second, and I knew I was in for something I had only been dreaming about my whole life. Something that only grew stronger and fiercer with each day we were apart. Something that not even timing or distance could dim. Something real. It's 2048. It's a Tuesday. Miranda knocks on the door. Miranda comes in, smiling beautifully. That same smile she's had since she was a little girl. She looks at me and says, Hey, Dad, you know what day it is? I said, well, of course I do. It's Tuesday. She says, No. Do you know what day it is? I said, Oh, yeah. Happy anniversary. Miranda looks at me and says, Dad, do you have anything to ask me? And she's just beaming, glowing, even. I think for a minute, then it hits me. I remember. She remembers. And I say, quite simply, are you happy? And she says, I'm very happy. You are right. And she pulls away, and I say to her, oh, baby, just wait for the next 25. And all these trees, Brandon, you lit my life in my darkest moments. I think it is obvious to say that I love you more than anything. My final promise is to never give up on us. I can't imagine my life without you. You are my person. I vow to always be transparent and honest with you. I vow to always respect you. I vow to treat you as an equal. Today is the first day of our epic journey together. 
I look forward to everything that we will share and accomplish in our marriage. I love you, Miranda Marie Tucker. The way you go above and beyond to be a good man for Miranda really assures me of the love that you have for her. My wish for you is to never take a single second for granted um, and to believe and trust in each other, to always remember the reasons you love each other. And I want you to live in the now, love with all your hearts, and always forgive. Remember your vows, the promises that you made to each other here today, why we are all here. Respect each other, not only when it's easy, but especially when it's hard. And to find time, no, I'm going to change that. Make time to be in love as often as you can. And in 25 years from today, if I ask you, are you happy? I think you'll say yes. I love you. And I love you.